to another episode of Zeta, a super, a Minecraft adventure. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. I'm back over here at the base. Um, last episode, we were draining out the ocean temple in the worst possible way. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing around with the lava, though, so if you didn't catch that episode, go check it out now. Um, make sure you're seeing the, the weirdness <laughs> of what I tried. But I will just be draining the rest of it out the normal way. Sponges and all that. I've already started that, actually. Uh, oh, ink. Meh. My ink. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, uh, we will come back to that probably next episode uh, with a fully drained temple, ready to get making some kind of awesome farm for the Guardians. Um, but today, I want to try and do a little bit of stuff around here. I, I was coming around looking at this kind of stuff. We've made these armor stands here for all our different armor sets. Um, and I was thinking about my armor sets a little bit more as well. I think I've got a plan somewhere with all of them written down. Aha! The plan! Do, do, do. Here we go. So these were all my different armor sets and stuff. Um, so that kind of was the main basis of this room. Um, and I think I want to have a little bit of room for expansion. Because I reckon they're going to be adding some new enchantments and things like that. And there might be things in the future that... I want um, double sets of and stuff. So these six slots here, they are not enough. You're bad. Be gone. Armor stand, stupid. <laughs> so um, I want to try and expand this, and I want to do it in a nice, fun, funny, lovely, fun, 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 silly, fun, whoopsie, fun way by using some slime blocks, of course. So we're going to try and make some kind of um, slime booster swapper uh, for each of these slots here, each of the three slots we're going to be able to switch it with another one. So we'll basically double the amount of room we'll have. We'll have 12 slots instead of 6. We should be plenty. Um, and it'll also look pretty cool as well. I'm hoping I can fit it all in. There's water around. There's tunnels down there to libraries and stuff. Um, the ceiling is just like the, the ceiling. The ground from above is literally right there. So we haven't got too much room. Um, uh oh, can't place it back. There we go. We haven't got too much room um, upwards either. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to make... Um, a little bit of a start here, tear out some of this stuff, and uh, we can start playing around with working out exactly how we're going to do the slime block booster, majuster, armory, switcherooster. So I've set up a little test down here. I've got myself um, a piston, sticky piston with a slime block on, and a wooden pressure plate. Um, if we get an armor stand down there, we can do it like that. Excellent. Cool. Um, is that going to be, is that low enough or high enough or whatever way you want to look at it? to get the armor stand up here. I think it can do like four or five blocks, right? So let's, let's check it out. But yeah, okay, it went straight up. So then if um, the block here was to push this way, um, in fact, I wonder if we can do that quickly. Ah, I need to pick the item up though, don't I? Um, okay, well, that can be arranged. Hada. Right, okay, that should reset the piston. Right, I'm gonna throw an item down. I'm gonna try and place a block underneath the uh, armor stand here. You ready? Haha! <laughs> okay, well, cool. That's good. That definitely proves it goes high enough. Um, so that is the level that I'm going to have the sticky pistons at. Perfect. Cool. Right, the next part is um, to try and work out... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, it's still, it's still done up, isn't it? So I want to try and have three wooden buttons or stone buttons or something along here like that. When I hit this button, it switches this armor stand around. This one switches this one. This one switches that one. Now, that may cause issues as they're all so close to each other. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work down in the, the guts of it, but um, but yeah, we also might have troubles as well. Um, distinguishing which button has been pressed as they're all so close, um, we may have issues with that. But yeah, I'm going to gut a little bit more of the walls and stuff out, get, a, get ourselves a bit more room, and uh, yeah, we can try and figure some of this stuff out together. Redstone box on the roof. I do love these shulkers. <laughs> down here now underground, um, the first problem we are going to want to overcome... Um, is actually whether you can switch two of these things around in this kind of way. So I'm going to have an armor stand guy up there, an armor stand guy down here, and at the push of this button, I want to try and switch them. So this button's going to do two things. It's going to turn the torch off, which will retract that, and it will also power the dust here, which will power this. So that's what we want to do. Let's see if it works. Boom. Now at the minute, I think the armor stand guy is getting his head hit on the block. Let's try and add a little bit of delay. Boom, okay, he went up that time. Oh, he's all, he's all pushed. <laughs> he manages to go up past it, but I think the button, um, the, the length of the button is too long. Um, so we're going to have to shorten it somehow. It needs to be a quick little doosh rather than doosh, 
doosh, like that. So let's try, we can use a lever for now just to make the pulse shorter. Ready? Boof, boof. Okay, he went up there and boof, boof, he comes back down. Perfect. So if we had another guy up there, um, that should mean that they actually switch over. Let's, uh, let's get them wearing some stuff. So let's get, oh no, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, no, this one over here. <laughs> I'll get the one eventually. Let's have one of them wearing a leather hat and one of them wearing an iron hat. Okay, lovely, cool. All right, so it's this one here. Let's get this guy wearing a lovely leather hat. You're beautiful looking. Oh, it's so fashionable. You might need to put some weight on though or something. <laughs> and this guy down here can wear the iron hat. Very nice. Right, do they switch? They do switch. Perfect, okay. And we just have to put a quick little pulse through that. And then they switch around every time. This is awesome. Okay, that is that is very good news. It's surprisingly easy to switch the two around. Ta-da! <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. Okay, then the next issue I wanted to try and sort out. Um, we can't just have three ones of these going along because all the slime blocks stick to each other. So it's very difficult doing slime block stuff um, in like a tire level kind of way without gaps in between. Um, but I was also thinking like... So... Let's just let's just talk about it this way, right? All of the guys at the bottom here, they all jump up. No matter what button we press, whether we press, you know, button one, button two, button three up there, all three of those buttons will all power this slime block line, like that, like such. But not uh, uh, the bleh, the buttons won't all power these pistons. So only the one we want to switch over will activate with the buttons, right? So the button's going to do two things. It's going to do its own um, ceiling piston removal up there for each individual one. It'll do its own one, but any of them will also always trigger this thing down here, which should means the what the ones we don't want um, would just hit their heads, kind of thing. Such as whoopsie. Wait, come back. <laughs> uh, did I do that right? Yeah, there's no blocks underneath there. Um, so armor stand. Right, I've got you. Buff, buff. They're facing the wrong way, but these ones won't retract if I push the first button. So they'll just bang their heads like that and they won't switch. So that's how we're going to do it. So we've got to hook up three buttons to three pistons um, and also all three of those buttons to the slime blocks down here. That technically should work. It's probably going to be a lot more complicated um, than just that. But so far, the, everything's working brilliantly. I'm very happy with, with life right now. <laughs> Usually, I would have had about a million things go wrong, such as last episode where the lava thing was almost it was well it was like we were adding water to it so <laughs> definitely it looks like we're on to some kind of winner here so let me uh figure out a little bit more thinkings with the three buttons up there in fact i'll get the buttons up there ready um to make sure we've actually got enough room to wire them down to here uh, and then we can get working out some of the redstone backstage but um it does also look like it pushes all the armor stands right over um oh i'm gonna go too aren't i to the front of the block but if we get up there, I don't think that's going to be an issue. It doesn't look like it's going to push them off the block. Um, yeah, it looks like they would kind of catch on this ledge, wouldn't they? But I guess their hitbox is uh, the size of the wood, not the size of the base plate. So that's okay that there's ever so slightly encroaching on the thing there. In fact, it sticks them out a little bit more. That's good. We're also going to have to do something about the signs as well, because obviously this won't just be the sauna suit. This might be the sauna suit and the metal membrane at the same time. We might need to fiddle them around a little bit. I'm not sure how we're going to do that because a named item won't display its name above the thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can name armor stands or can you? Buying a name tag. Anyone got a name tag for sale? Please, please, please. Should be right at the very end, right? Uh, oh, no, you haven't got it. Have you got it? One of these guys has the name tag. There it is. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Nice doing business with you. Uh, I don't need a receipt. Thank you. This one is going to be called the scuba suit. Very nice. Please, please, please work. Please. This would be the best thing in the world. Did it, what happened? <laughs> Did it use it? Please. Oh, don't tell me it used it. It just don't show it now. I know with command blocks you can make them show. Why does that not exist in survival? Is it, It's not hidden in the block or something, is it? No. Oh, no, that is so cheaty. I think if you if you name tag it, the name tag should show up. Ah, oh, I, I just don't know what to say now. Um, hi, excuse me. Hi, sorry. Um, 
I bought a product from you earlier. Uh, it was a it was a name tag, um, and it kind of it, it just sort of didn't work right. Um, no, no, I I have no receipt. Uh, I was I was in a bit of a rush. You didn't you didn't give me a receipt. Is it? Do you not remember my face? Literally, I was here about five minutes ago. Um. No, no. Do you remember me? I, I tried trading you for you didn't have one, um, but you did have a name tag. So, no. Stupid villagers trading me stupid stuff. I, I gave birth to you. Aha! I think I've had a brainwave. My first one in years. <laughs> um, so our three buttons up here um, all go down into this same uh, redstone line here. So no matter what button you press. Um, the whole line is going to light up, which is great. That is going to go directly to the bottom one. So we're going to want to take off using a redstone repeater here. And we're going to want to take off some kind of power, link it down to the bottom slime blocks. Whoopsie, break in the joint. Okay. Um, and yeah, that will trigger the bottom no matter which one is pressed. But we're also going to want to take off three uh, comparator signals. Um, oh, I'm dancing box. It's customary that I sing to the blocks <laughs> while they dance. Uh, oh, they stopped. Okay. Um, and we're going to want to use uh, subtraction mode. Subtraction mode on all of them to make it so that we understand which one is being pressed at a time. So each of these three are going to go to an individual one of these three pistons here, which will retract the block. They will be um, powered by default with a torch on there. I'm not going to do it right now because it will... Um, smack me in the head, and I don't like being smacked in the head too often. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, th think of it this way, right? So when I push this button, this redstone dust here is level 15, this is 14, and this is 13. So basically, if we subtract, and the same with all of them as well, if we push the middle button, this is 15, 14, 14. If we push this one, this is 15, 14, 13, like that. That's how redstone works. It travels down from level 15 from the power source. So, the one we want is going to be powered 15, whereas the other two are going to be less than that. It doesn't matter, right? So, if we subtract 14 from each of these comparators, basically, they'll only output if they've been given a 15 input, right? Because 15 minus 14 is 1, whereas 14 minus 14 is nothing, and 13 minus 14 is negative 1, which is still nothing. So, basically, that's how we're going to do it. So, I just need a way to feed in a power level of 14... Um, into the sides of each of these. Now, um, we can't directly do that, obviously, because the middle one hasn't... We, we don't have access to the side of the comparator now. Um, and these edge ones here, the outputs are all going to bunch up exactly the same way they did here. So we're going to have to spread it out a little bit more. So let us... Um, forget about the repeater one right now. That can come off from anywhere. Uh, if we was to bend this around the side, like so... If I could pick these back up again, can I get them all? No more dancing blocks, please. We've we've had enough of that today. Um, if I put this comparator around here like that, uh, there we go. Right, so this would be power level 15 underneath here. 14, 13, 13 going into it. So when this one receives uh, level 13, we know that this one was triggered. Uh, so now instead of if we would subtract 14, if we subtract 12 from the side of this comparator. So we could go... Into the wall here, we've got a little bit of space. Uh, I would have done it sooner, but obviously we've got our um, the bottom of our little watery pool there, so we can't do it. So, so yeah, sorry, 15, 14, 13. So we want to subtract 12 from the side of this comparator. So how can we do that? Let's work it out. Oh, I haven't got a shovel on me now, have I? I'll have to do it the slow way. <laughs> so I need to subtract 12. Okay. So let's get some levers. Excellent. All right. We can make our way up here as well. Subtract 12. Right, so this would be... Uh, if we put a lever here, that would be 15. So if we did it one back, 14, 13, 12. Okay, so if I put a lever all the way back there... In fact, I want to put this all on um, stone bricks just to differentiate between the different building things. Come here, stone, I need you. Okay, d -d -dish. Okay, all the way at the back there. There we go. So that's power level 15, 14, 13, 12. Boom, into the side of it. So now if we uh, completely cover this all back up again, um, we know that no matter what, 
Um, we can actually test it and prove that it's working, because I kind of would like to prove it to myself as well. Uh, no, let's put a sticky piston on there just so that we can visually sort of hear and see it doing stuff. Very tight quarters in here! Ah. Okay, right, so if we push this first button, it should do absolutely nothing. Let's get, let's get rid of these as well, just so we can see. It's, it's so close. I feel like I'm on a submarine or something. Okay, and lovely. Right, we should be able to see now. Um, if I push button number one, nothing happens because um, it wasn't the power wasn't going in. It's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 minus 12, so it wasn't doing anything. This one won't do anything either because the power level isn't enough. But this one, oh, it does it because there's still one signal managing to eke its way through. So that's perfect, and we could do exactly the same thing to the other side to make it all nice and symmetrical. Uh, so how many blocks did we go back here? We had... Um, difficult to see, difficult to see. We had one, two, three, four, five blocks back into the wall. Okay, excellent. We can do that. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. So we can put that down. Lever, and we should know that that will be um, enough. Let's get the redstone in there as well. Dish, 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 dish. Okay, and help me. <laughs> Cannot see what I am building. Boom, into the side of a comparator. Let's grab that one. On subtraction mode, got to be on subtract mode. Very important. Um, and yeah, just to test that that does something as well. This piston should only go with this one. Excellent. Middle one should do nothing. And this piston should only go with that one. Perfect, look. And we've got it all nice and compact. The power of subtraction comparators. Ha ha. I love maths. <laughs> um, the middle one, however, um, obviously we can't come build anything this way because we need a clear path for the slime blocks to push straight up. So we are going to have to go um, backwards into the wall uh, this way, but that's fine. We can put a comparator. Um, hmm. We could put a comparator here, but again, it's going to make it difficult with uh, getting a power level into the side. So let's just go away um, one more like such. And, yep, yeah, we can face it the right way. Subtraction mode. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We want to put the comparator further away, don't we? So now we've got free reign. Uh, so this is going to be 15, 14. So we only want a power level of 13 to be going into that one. Next thing to do is to add um, the uh, one tick pulser. Because remember, our button pushes are too long. We need to shorten it, uh, which is just the usual um, sticky piston up like that. You have... Uh, dust going in and you have a repeater coming out one side that makes a nice little oh no 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 slightly wrong <laughs> that needs to go one down in the floor with a block on top like that that makes a nice one tick pulser if I quickly step on here oh except I need to face into the box you've seen them plenty of times I've done them lots of times too but and um, that is what we needed and the trouble is trying to fit it in in this little area here um, it was budding itself. It was making its own little bud power system. So I think what I'm going to do is actually move this one block back, but obviously that's where I wanted it initially. We couldn't because this is there, but then we could also move it one block down as well. So uh, the redstone is actually, or the comparator rather, is actually sucking the power um, out of the line from above. It, it, it. Can I press, gonna do it? Okay, there we go, like that. Um, we can still have it on subtract mode, which means we can have this line going this direction underneath these blocks. Uh, but it does mean we need to quickly go and get a furnace or something and replace this block with something that won't get stuck. Um, because obviously when these go upwards, it will get stuck to this block as well. So um, I've got to put obsidian or a furnace or something like that there uh, just to stop it from moving. So let me go and grab one of those and I'll do the same to the other side as well. Um, that should finish off those bits, then it's just connect up this block here to the middle piston, and then we're ready to connect up the bottom bit, and then it should all be done! Wow! One worky. Two worky. Three worky! All worky! <laughs> Brilliant! Okay, that's cool. So that is all the pistons connected up. Um, it's a bit of a crazy thing down here. I pushed these two ones back. Um, and down a block, as you could see, uh, that goes through into a one tick pulsar. There is a, uh, no, where is it? Yeah, under here, look, you can see over that side better. Comparator goes down into a monostable one tick circuit, into a repeater there, which is like this side, goes up into a torch underneath there, into the dust, into each one. 
Uh, the middle one, however, if we can see that, uh, goes off to that side over there, into that block, um, which goes down... Uh, can we see it? Oosh, wait. <laughs> Hold on, I can't see anything. Um, yeah, which goes down here into the dust, into a monostable circuit, out the repeater, down into the dust down here. It follows up and goes up into the block, which then goes into a torch, into a block, into the middle one. Hooray, we managed to see. Excellent. Now, the next thing we want to do is add um, to the main line, if we can get up there and see it, uh, yeah, up here, something coming off of here, we need a repeater. Um, anywhere along, anywhere at all, along this main line, this T, um, and that is going to feed right directly down into the pistons down there. So I'm going to say this side is kind of blocked up. We need that block there. Uh, there's a repeater heading into it, which is sending a, a signal down to dust. So let's take it off the left-hand side over here. Uh, excuse me, coming through, <laughs> Mr. Slimebock. So just here, right, excellent. Um, if we take a repeater signal down like that, um, if we can get up into it. Yep, yeah, just here. Perfect. So let's go repeater. Eh, eh. Oh, it actually works. Brilliant. Okay. And we can just leave that on a one tick. Um, then we can go down into this block and down into here. Let's grab a dust. All very complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's working. Just double check in. And then how are we going to get it down to this piston? Um, just like that, I guess. That should work. I think the timings might be wrong. We might need to change that repeater to, um, to have slightly longer or less delay or something. How do we leave? How do we get out of this prison of redstone and blocks and stuff? Okay. All right, let's check out um, the pistons. How do we see? You can kind of see there. They definitely went up. Yes, look, they definitely go up. If I do a distant one, you see the pistons go up. It you can't see them go up you just see them go back down again it happens so quickly okay right so now we are ready to test All right let us get on um uh, this guy with a brown hat very nice down you go <laughs> drop him into the pits of hell this guy is going to have an iron hat on do you now switch no ah okay which probably means um we're firing yeah, we're probably firing really too early, aren't we? Because we can't even see the piston go up. I reckon they're just banging their head. So let us go down. I wonder if I can access it through the floor here. That would be amazing if I could. Please, 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 please. Aha! This is the this is the exact one I wanted. I mean, I didn't want to fall down. <laughs> that was slightly bad. But at least we can adjust it from here without having to be... Uh, oh, that's wrong in every way. Oh, I can adjust it. Okay, right. Give me my carpet back. Let's do this thing properly now. Okay, carpet away. Okay, let's go to two ticks. No, they're still banging their heads. Let's go... Ugh, three ticks. Still banging their heads. Uh-oh. I feel like maybe something more is wrong here. No! Haha, <laughs> they just needed to have an extra tick. So let's get rid of you. You fall back down. Ugh, if I can hit the button properly. Right, then we get our leather head back. And they switch! <laughs> awesome! Okay, right, I need to set these other ones up as well. Hello there, three friends. Are you sick and tired of wearing hats all day long? Would you much like your tootsies to be covered instead of your head? Well, today is your lucky day because you now all get turned into shoe people instead of hat people. <laughs> so it works, it's all set up, it's great. We can select whichever one we like. Um, I think it's unbreakable. If we do it quite quickly, if we just run down this line, it's breakable. <laughs> so don't do it too quickly. Oh, look, now it looks like you're one person, even though you're actually not. Give me the thing. Okay. And put you down there. Very easy to fix if you do mess it up. <laughs> just don't spam the buttons like crazy. Um, but they do kind of do this thing where they, like, jump up high first. So if we was to lower the ceiling just a little bit, just one block, oh, kind of a little bit wrong there, <laughs> uh, like that, does it still work? It does. They kind of bounce much, much less. I think I quite like that, actually, and it gives us a little room up there to do something with it. Um, yeah, in the, in the shape of the room-wise, not too bad. 
And then we just need to kind of put some sort of block up here, even just something like that. That looks quite good. In fact, I like that more. R shapely. <laughs> um, it does mean that we don't have the names. They are not named. We had that issue. Remember that we couldn't name the name the name tag. I mean, we could name the name tag. We couldn't name the armor stand. Um, but now we can't have like a sign up or anything like that. So if you've got any ideas of uh, how I'm getting wet, of how to name them, and when we press the button, the name changes above or something. We could put this ceiling back up if need be, if that makes your name um, thing work. Hmm. How could you do it? I can't even think. <laughs> I mean, when you have an item in an item frame like this that's named, the name comes up. So it would be nice, but then you can't move item frames around. Uh, the only way I was thinking about doing it, you could have like um, a block. I can't place anything. Ah. A block like this, no that doesn't work, a block like that with a hole in the back here with an item frame in this side that says the name and then when you push the button this block changes around to be uh, the other way like that and then you see the item frame through there but that seems messy I don't know how I'd change this block around lots of issues with that one so I don't like that idea I mean I don't have to name them I could just name the um, the actual individual ah place it eh, eh, eh done it. <laughs> I could just name the individual bits of armor, um, but it would just be very nice to know. I guess I could have a sign up here that says something like, um, I don't know, scuba, scuba suit on the top row, and then uh, whatever, what was one of the other one? The other, other suit, <laughs> I can't think, like that, and then you just switch between them. Um, maybe we have some sort of visual uh, thingy to show it. I just really wish we could name these. And I mean, I would do it. I would go in and add the command quickly. Um, it's just like a, a tag on them. Just go and do that manually so that they show up their name tags. But I'm just worried that that opens up the can of worms of cheating in this single player world, which I don't want to do. I mean, it, it's not cheating per se, but it kind of is at the same time. It's using command. So I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, if there's any other ways you can think of, do let me know. I am going to replicate this over this side now as well. Um, and then, yeah, tidy things up, clean things up a little bit, and we can see both of them in action. I am a very happy boy right now. And the copying progress has been completed. It was actually quite a lot easier to, to just rebuild it over here than I thought it was going to be. Um, a little confusing to start with, but once I kind of got into it, it was nice. Uh, they're con actually connected underground. Can I can I show you that? Let's go down to the uh, the underside of it quickly. So now we have 12 lovely armor stands all ready to accept our armor sets. Um, so we need to get making those. I was thinking maybe we could do that in a live stream together. It's going to be a lot of enchanting, a lot of um, res uh, XP gathering and stuff like that. So this is our first one over here. Um, and then over this way, this is our second one. So uh, yeah, look, you can see they actually share a lever. Um, can I, have I got any kind of block at all? Why do I always put everything away? I'm so neat and tidy. <laughs> um, yeah, I can get that block. Okay, that's good. Let's hop up there. Yeah, you can see, look, the, um, the, these two here that go into the comparators, that's the one. You can actually share a lever for it, so that's nice, nice and symmetrical. I tried to keep everything symmetrical. I kind of flipped this one um, horizontally, you know, like the piston's on the left here, whereas on this side, the piston's on the right, um, just to make things nice and symmetrical. It was easier to build that way, and I thought it would just look nicer anyway. So, look, you can see, look, you can see exactly the same, but mirrored along this axis here. So that's cool. Uh, let's get back up there and take a look at it quickly in action. Um, it's pretty break proof. Like we broke it a minute ago, right? But um, testing it out a little bit more. As long as you wait just a tiny bit for the pistons to stop moving, it's all good. And you know, even if it does break, so what? Like we can go bada and bada and bada and bada. That's pretty. Oh, okay, there you go. I broke it, right? <laughs> but that was pretty quick. We we managed to move, swap quite a lot of blocks there without much problem. When you place some new, though, look, they go back into the middle of the block. And you just need to rotate it around to, to fix it. <laughs> I prefer them like that anyway. Um, I was also, while building this one, noticing that um, this block back here, we could do something with from above. And there is not anything going on above this part here. So maybe we do some sort of block swapper to show like as we push this button this block gets swapped out not sure if we can do them that close together 
all three, but that might be quite nice. Just just a little hint. So the aqua one might be like blue, might be like a lapis block or something like that. And then we switch that for like the flap suit. And that might be uh, what would represent flying, I don't know, like a, a white cloud block, like some quartz or something like that. Just to slightly help differentiate between um, what suit was what. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of my only idea of how to to uh, name, quote, name quote unquote these suit kind of things <laughs> so we know what they are um but there we go that is going to be it for today's episode a nice successful little redstone project i do enjoy those kind of things i enjoy making them um you know d working out exactly the problems breaking the redstone down what do we need to do how many inputs do we need how many outputs do we need um and things such as that it's good fun so yeah i hope you enjoyed the episode too if you did Remember, you can always leave a comment, you can leave a like, and you can subscribe if you haven't done already. Feel free to check out those social media links. I do live streaming now on beam.pro slash zfplays. You can also follow me on Patreon if you want to as well, help support the channel. And Twitter. Twitter is where I make news happen. Um, if there's any new news, new news, not this old news, fangled old news stuff. Any new news about the channel, um, Twitter is your place to be so make sure you follow me over there as well but anyway thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next episode good bye